In this video, we're going to show you how to make an aluminum air battery. Aluminum air batteries are relatively easy and safe to construct. They involve a cathode reaction between dissolved oxygen and water on an activated carbon surface and an anode reaction between aluminum and water at the other end. Have fun! So here are the materials we're going to use to make our aluminum air battery. This material here is called activated carbon. You can get it in a pet supply store. It's the kind of stuff that's used in fish tank filtration systems, so it's readily available. This, a pile of this material is going to become the cathode for our battery. The aluminum foil here, the, this ordinary uh, kitchen aluminum foil, we've cut out a, a roughly rectangular piece of it, it's going to become the anode of our battery. We're going to keep the anode and the cathode separate by using this coffee filter. The coffee filter is going to hold the activated carbon. And then we're going to make an electrolyte from salt water. This is ordinary tap water that we've added a lot of salt to to try to get something close to a saturated solution. Various wires are always useful in these kind of experiments. If you can get a hold of alligator clip wires, either online or an electronics store, that's they're very, very useful to, to connect things together with. Um, this wire uh, you can, is the kind of stuff that you can buy in a craft store, a craft supply store. We're going to take a piece of it and bury it in the activated carbon so there's there's kind of an electrode, um, a connector that we can, we can attach the meters to to see if we can make measurements. And we're going to use these meters here. This is an analog multimeter, and this is a digital multimeter. They measure various electrical quantities. We're going to use those to, um, to see if our battery works. Uh, use, ha having a meter is just very, very, very useful in these kind of experiments. Generally speaking, you can get these in hardware stores, perhaps online. You don't need a very expensive one, but you do need something to figure out if the battery is working, something to make some measurements with. In a later video, we'll show you more about how to use meters like this. Okay, so let's see if we can make a battery. I've taken a piece of that wire and cut a little piece of it off and put it inside the coffee filter and I want to try to bury it in the activated carbon. I'm then going to place that, the whole coffee filter, with the activated carbon on top of the aluminum foil and then that's our basic uh, setup of the battery where I have, there's my anode, here's my cathode, and I've got the coffee filter between them, and then let's add some of this salt water mixture and let it seep through. Okay. And if I then take one of these meters, so for example, so here's the analog meter. If I take this analog meter, the anode is the negative, and so I'm going to connect the black lead, which is the negative lead, to the voltmeter to the aluminum, just trying to get good solid contact. And, and then I want to touch the copper wire. And you see the voltage, it, the needle is moving when I get when I get some contact on it. Okay. So I... There we go. As long as I get a good solid contact, it's on and off. There we go. There we go. It's moving a little bit. As long as I keep it on there. Alright. So the battery is a battery. And then let's try again. Let's try with this meter here if we can. The digital meter. Same process, we want to touch the aluminum and then touch the, touch the copper wire there. And if I can hold it in place, I'm, it looks like about a half a volt of uh, a voltage. It's easier using something like these guys because then I can connect, I can make solid connections, etc. To the top and the bottom but basically that's a working battery 
right? So here's a more compact design for one of these batteries. We've cut out a couple of smaller cylinders from the, the large cardboard cylinder that's in the middle of a roll of paper towels, right? That's going to that's gonna hold our activated carbon. And you see, there it is. There it is inside. We've buried the wire in it again so we can make some contact. And then the aluminum foil is wrapped around it with the uh, coffee filter in between. So in other words, I'm going to take, I'm going to wrap the, uh, the uh, coffee filter around the cardboard cylinder, hold it in place with a rubber band or two, and then I'm going to do the same thing with the aluminum foil and also hold it in place with a rubber band or two. And I should again have a working battery. And there we go again. It's a lot of these voltage measurements depend a lot on maintaining contact. So if I put some alligator clips on there to hold it in place, I get a nice firm reading. But it's a battery. And what's nice about these things is if I make a couple of them, I can stack them. So for example, if this was set up like, like that battery, if I had enough activated carbon in there so I could make the aluminum touch the activated carbon, I'd be putting the two batteries in series. And then I'd have a, a battery, something like a flashlight connection. We'll talk about that kind of stuff in a, in a later video. But this is just a way to think about putting these things together in a way that you can do some more experimentation with them.